Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and today we are making raw zucchini and carrot terrine with a lovely fresh tomato sauce, vegan style. Last week I made some almond ricotta. I had quite a lot of cheese because I've made three and I made up this recipe to use it in and oh my gosh it's so nice that you could serve this as a entree or main at your next dinner party. There are some special equipment that you're going to need today, but when I say special, things that you probably have in your kitchen already. This is the dish I will be assembling my terrine in today, and it is 5 inches by 6.5 by 3 inches deep. A potato masher and a vegetable peeler. Zucchini, carrots, parsley, thyme, basil. A batch of plain almond ricotta. You can find the recipe here. If you want it to be 100% raw, omit the rice wine vinegar or lemon juice. To flavour our dish we have caraway seeds and some Celtic sea salt. Optional nutritional yeast flakes. These are not raw. For the sauce you're going to need tomatoes, basil and sea salt. And for decoration you're going to want the green part of a long green onion and some fresh basil leaves. I'm going to grind up my caraway seeds and Celtic sea salt. To the almond ricotta I'm going to add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes. Remember these are not raw so if you want 100% raw don't use them. I'm going to add the caraway and the salt. Give that a stir around. I'm going to grate my carrot on the smaller grater side. Look at the colour of that carrot. It's amazing. We are now going to get a little bit of the excess water out of the carrots. To some paper towel. Paper towel, pop that on top and push down. Add your carrot to a mixing bowl. Then add in the almond ricotta mixture. Stir to combine. Now I'm going to get my hands in there and really mix it in well. Before we start slicing the zucchini, we're going to prepare our herbs. With the thyme, gently squeeze and slide down the stem. With the parsley, boil it up and chop. And for the basil, just pick the leaves off and check that they're clean. I'm just going to chop the end off the zucchini because we want it to be sort of squarish. I'm going to slice. Slice again. And just keep slicing until you get to the seeds on this side. And turn that over and repeat. We are left with a core. We're not using that in this recipe. Please don't throw it away. Use it in a stir fry or a salad. Sliced into strips and we're going to start layering our dish. Make sure that you have an excess amount left over. And I'm going to layer another piece and do the same. For the ends, cut a stripper in half and then just place it top there like that. For the corners, try to make sure that you find a really, really thin piece. Once you have got your dish looking like that, you're going to add a third of your mixture. To sprinkle the thyme over the top of that layer. Then on top of that going to lay the zucchini strips on top. Grab our potato masher and just gently push down. Add another layer. Third of the mix. Going to put the parsley on top of this layer. rest of the mixture. Press, fold down. Now 
that's our terrain and we're just going to set that aside while we make the fresh tomato sauce. Cut the tomatoes into quarters and then chop finely. Tiny little sprinkle of salt. And you're going to get your knife and you're going to cut it and cut it and cut it until it turns into a sauce. You just want the end parts of the long green onion. What you're going to do is you're going to put your plate or platter on top of your dish. Hold both. Turn it over. Gently release. Okay, now we're going to take our sauce and just pop that down the centre. Green onion parts and just sprinkle them on the top. To make those on the top thing like that. Test test time! Mmm, that is very fresh and lovely. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment below if there's something you'd like to see me cook. Look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye!